Hi, and welcome to the Unknown Secrets of SEO Podcast. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another fun-filled edition of the Internet Marketing Unknown Secrets of SEO. Good job. That's I don't right. even have to go back to that. Hey, where's the video, man? I can't. Uh, yeah. Um, Somebody let us know if we're getting cut out. Yeah. <laughs> we, we can't see our... Basically, uh, I've got one of those tablet uh, laptops. That's the, the kind of the broadcast device we use here. That because the, the screen rotates. Oh, okay, that's okay. A, you you didn't know that that's a universal <laughs> symbol for for tablets. Universal screen. Yeah, I'm just waving my hand, <laughs> rotating it on the on the axis. Uh, the um and every now and then it freaks out and it it when you maximize a screen it only shows what is that a that's not even a a quarter uh, about a quarter probably. Mm -hmm. So now it's maximized to a quarter. So for me to log in today, we're run, I, I, we've got to get out of here right on time today. So I had to uh, just broadcast that. Anyway, anyway, you're listening to the most popular SEO podcast on iTunes. This is podcast number 77. We are really excited. We have got so much like super awesome, cool stuff yes. to go through. Um, I didn't write a tip from the last one. Let's see. So last one was podcast number 76. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, we were finishing up. Pay per click, were we? I think we we're finishing up pay per click. Yeah, it sounds all, sounds about right. Yeah, and uh, you know how to agree to anything. That you here's said, the though. tip: remember, Google's the king. Yeah, and I'll write that down later <laughs> because because I don't know where, where it went. <laughs> uh, how about a little bit of news? And by the way, we apparently there's two people who uh, it's not just the Geno time limit. There's also a time limit to, associated with I think. Um, Oh, it's not Terry Crosby. It's the one under that. Do you have that? I don't have that one for some reason. You don't have that, that lady? one? Yeah. Uh, there's another lady who apparently agrees with Gino, and we should actually start the podcast sooner. Okay. But then you'd miss the news. <laughs> then you wouldn't, like, be up to, well, kind of up to date because the podcast is running a little bit behind. But anyway, uh, I'm excited for a number of reasons. I'm holding up three fingers. It just went to four. I'm just going to, we'll just stop at five. Okay. First off, shout out to Santiago Chile. That's what's up, man. We've got a listener in Santiago, Chile. Um, buenos dias. <laughs> Como estas? That's all I got. Yeah, that's all I got. Yeah. I have always dreamed of, in the middle of the summer, going skiing in Chile. Okay. Right, because it's, it's on there, the other right? side. So, yeah. And uh, Santiago, Chile is the capital, I believe. Uh, if you go due west and hit the coast, the largest pool on the planet is there. You can see it in Google Maps. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool. So, uh, uh, shout out, cheers. Holler at us on our Facebook page. Let us know your name, company, hey, stuff like that. Give us some sort of like, uh, you know, colloquial Spanish uh, shout out thing that we can do yeah. on air uh, and hit us up and give us a review, damn it. <laughs> um, speaking of reviews, we've got two reviews. And um, here's, this is awesome. One of them is from Big Cats Rescue. Now, it turns out that... Uh, Apparently, Big Cats Rescue gave us a review in June on Facebook, which is going to be one of our first tips of the day. We're going to be talking about social media, but uh, uh, we'll get that to here in a second. Um, as a CEO of Big Cats Rescue, largest accredited, accredited sanctuary for big cats, awesome. He's saying, yeah, they do lions, tigers, leopards, and bobcats. No bears, apparently. And uh, he has to be on the leading edge of SEO. He says this. This is the line I like. Our site gets 1.6 million visitors a year, and this podcast, the one you're listening to, can take a lot of credit for that great exposure. That's what's up, big cat. That is, that's awesome. And really, all I've got to say is uh, just send us a check. Yeah, hey, that'll work. <laughs> Back there, it's, post there. It's not for profit, so we're happy <laughs> to support it. Um, on Facebook, we had given, there was an iTunes uh, review by Daniel Street. And you're probably wondering, like, how, why are they coming up with all these Facebook mm -hmm. uh, reviews? Uh, we'll explain that in a second. But he just says, uh, give these guys a 10-star rating. Um, put those outdated books away. Learn more in just an hour of your time. Thanks, guys, for pushing your passion and knowledge out to all us eager geeks. Eager geeks. That's what's up, man. I like that term, eager geeks. You know, G Lady Gaga calls her, you like, followers uh, monsters, my little monsters. monsters. We can call ours our eagle, eager geeks. We should steal monsters. I like just, monsters. <laughs> you're just like that? You're, yeah. Like, what if Lady Gaga found, listened to our podcast and found out? That's what's up. What if she gave you her phone number? Sorry. <laughs> I'm, Sorry. I think I'd be afraid. My mind, my mind is just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, frankly, I think I'd be afraid if she gave me her phone number. 
What are you going to do to me? <laughs> are we going to have three costume changes in the middle of this uh, tryst? <laughs> Uh, all right, um, we got to shout out to Scott Bonner. Uh, he put together a great document. Um, we should get his permission to make it available. He's talking about his business focuses uh, focuses on moving business. This document is, you know, the the ten most inefficient practices of the moving industry. And frankly, for uh, at least ninety percent of these, I think you could take out the moving industry and, and insert put, insert your business here, or just industry, yeah. you know, of the industry. I don't, that, yeah. I don't know what the industry. How about a industry? Because uh, they're really key things about, you know, when, where are you wasting your time? You know, you shouldn't be using paper. Are you doing multiple data entries? And most important, at the very back of it, for those of you watching, you can kind of see this. And if I could see how it looked on my computer screen, I might be able to center it and bring it closer. I won't even try. Right here, he says, ewebstyle.com, search engine optimization company with a free podcast. So I guess doing this podcast was worth it? Worth it. At some Two point. years, <laughs> and we got one line in an article that's going to movers. <laughs> that's what's up, Scott Bonner. Very cool, man. Thanks a lot. We really appreciate it. And I'll only be nice to you for about three more weeks. And you and, know why. <laughs> and, and you'll be very happy. I am drinking the Diet Pepsi and the coffee this morning. All right. So, so what's up today? Hold on one second. Okay. Before we talk about the subject of today, social media, first, we have to talk about Facebook. Okay. Oh, wait. I didn't even do any news. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what do our news is? Uh, yeah. Our, uh, okay. Facebook, biggest outage in four years. That's the news. Oh, that's right. Chuck told me about that. Yeah. Okay. That's our news. You guys can go <laughs> Google that and read it because that's, honestly, that's where we get our news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so before we talk about social media, we have to talk about Facebook. I am holding up uh, the front page of our Facebook page. You will notice the uh, partner who got shot. Uh, yes. And there's his hand there. So if you're listening to this podcast, make sure you go to our uh, go to our Facebook page. Monday. Yep. Uh, Monday. Uh, Rob got shot, y'all. Rob got <laughs> shot, basically. Uh, and Corey Machuski, I think I pronounced that correct. Yes, those white holes are bullet holes. And Dean Calhoun, yes, I punched him in the face. <laughs> and he liked it. Yes, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, but this is a perfect segue into what we're going to talk about because it's social media. We're going to talk about social media. You know, we're going to talk about the do's and don'ts. And, hey, we do some of the do's. We have done some of the don'ts. We're getting better at it. But I think it's a perfect example of what we're going to go through. Uh, so the, the, the key thing here that we wanted to bring up, bring up before we started talking about social media was there are apparently some settings on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, actually, I think there's a lot of settings uh, yeah. in general and or specifically on your uh, it's either a product page or a business page that people can like. We've been talking about likes and making sure that people are liking you or whatever. Uh, right under where you can add to the wall of that product or business page, right under where it says share, there's a little button named settings. Mm -hmm. uh, if you haven't tried clicking that yet, uh, we did this week and mm -hmm. something pretty cool happened. You've got options. Uh, in our case, one of the options was ewebstyle.com plus others, just ewebstyle.com or just others. And this is our news feed. So we've been looking at a news feed like... It's actually our wall. Our wall. Yeah, because I don't think there's a news feed for businesses. Okay. So, yeah. So we're like, man, would somebody comment on this podcast? Like, anybody, somebody. And we did start getting like, uh, we had uh, Dean Calhoun mm -hmm. and, and Scott Bonner were punching at, punching each other. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and one, uh, one um, little back and forth. And we saw that because it was a comment of something we posted. Mm -hmm. But apparently the default setting is just the web style. Just the web style. So we're thinking, why aren't, like, I mean, we'd like to think we're somewhat cool and somebody would say something on our Facebook page. And apparently people have. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, back in June, Carol Baskin, your podcast helps us keep Big Cat Rescue at the top of Google and the top of YouTube. Thanks, guys. Hey, we're really sorry it's taken us... Uh, this long to get to mention <laughs> to figure this out to figure that you know you've actually submitted a review we really appreciate the review actually we appreciate both reviews that was one example I think Paul's got a couple more uh, Kurt Martin just this Tuesday gave us a shout out hey guys keep up the great web, web gospel Kurt 
that's what's up, man. Uh, let us know. Hey, what company you working with? What are you doing? How does it have? How have we helped? Thanks. We appreciate this because like we put this out there for y'all. Terry Crosby, I love your podcast. That's what's up, Terry. It's our YouTube friend. That is awesome. Uh, and then Darren Bowie actually has an article that he posted on our wall, which yeah. is five ways to be an ethical SEO expert. And uh, he is going down tomorrow in fantasy football, European football. So just even though Paul that. has no idea hey, how I it will works still uh, whoop up on him. He just that, you know no no knowledge or experience or education required. Yeah, and we'll agree with the, the first two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, to his credit, he's never played soccer. Yeah. I've played soccer most of my life. He's never played soccer, and he got into the World Cup. Oh, like, man, all on it. And, and uh, you know, it was something really exciting for me. I'm sorry, I got it. Yeah, I love soccer, so I got to talk about this. There's some sort of alarm going off somewhere. Oh, that's my phone. That's all good. No yeah. way. Did, could, you couldn't find a more annoying <laughs> ring for your phone. So I've been uh, playing soccer for most of my life, and I've always felt that you know soccer it's not a high scoring game. You know, in America, people just rag on the sport because there's no scores, zero zero, one one. Who would want to watch such a boring game? And you know, got basketball and football, such high scores. And I always thought that you had to play with it to realize that kicking a ball 75 yards to somebody who's actually running and then bringing the ball from the air down onto the uh, onto the uh, grass in stride so that they can continue to dribble the ball is unbelievably challenging. And I always thought that you really needed and, and something to cheer about. You're like, wow, that was a 75 yard. And there's no goal. Mm -hmm. That was a 75 yard kick. He brought her right to his foot. That was amazing. Well, I always felt like y you needed that appreciation in order to enjoy soccer. And apparently it's not true. You can really enjoy soccer and not Ha, you know, necessarily know specifically how hard it is. Yeah. I think it, it's pretty apparent that that's really Difficult, challenging. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for I'll call it my sport. It's just I'm going to say it right now. It's my sport. That's what's up. My sport, soccer, that I haven't played in ten years. I, I really did. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the World Cup. Never played though. Very cool. You've been thinking about joining a league. I have. You should do that. You join the women's I league. I did. I joined so you can, yeah, for real. So you can. So I can. I mean, at least I can win at that. Because I'll go for the easy W anytime. I have no the problem. Easy woman? The easy woman? The easy woman. Yeah. That was actually better than the win. So, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adopt that. Maybe I can do both on the soccer field. I can kick your ass on the field and then get a win. All right. So, we've got an article here. Do's and don'ts of social media marketing. This we found. We ripped off. We're stealing from, the, well... Because we're about to give credit, it's not really ripped off stealing. Yeah. It's a search engine journal. Uh, we're not going to read it to you. We're just going to uh, steal ideas from it. And these are, again, do's and don'ts of social media marketing. Uh, we've got build a strong social network. Wow. I'd say that probably would be the first most important thing is to actually build a network. We, You know, there's a million ways to build a network. You could, uh, one, you know. you want And make sure it's a social network. Okay, yeah. Yeah. A social, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't even, is there any kind of other net? I mean, yeah. there's business networks. I mean, we are social. Yeah, we started building our network by developing this podcast. You know, we have a Facebook page, uh, and you know, we would always shout out to our Facebook page. We have a Twitter page when we say, "Hey, we're about to put up something new." So we used. I mean, our a big part of our social network came from the podcast, and I'd like to say, you know, going forward, we're going to start branching out and trying to build our social network. On these different places, and other ways, we're going to start commenting and you know leaving leave all kinds of different stuff. Hey, You're I just comment on some uh, Facebook pages just last night. Yeah, and I promise right. you, I was not a douche. Yeah, no, 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 because we did a podcast on how not to be a douche, and and I listened and to the podcast. So you weren't like, hey, uh, my name is Chris, great podcast. Hey, check yeah. out mine. Uh, blah 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 blah. Here's my website. Uh, buy my this, buy my that. You weren't. I, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm not gonna, <laughs> What I didn't do is I didn't say, hey, uh, great uh, wall, you should think about joining Facebook. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, someone did tell us. <laughs> um, no, I just said, because uh, there's a couple other people who are giving out to the SEO community. I just, uh, on Facebook, did a search for SEO, and there's a couple people uh, giving back, kind of like we are. And I said, hey, love to find the other people who are giving back to SEO newbies. Uh, check out the most popular SEO podcast on iTunes. So, okay. yeah, you know. That's what's up. It's a, that is what's up. So uh, we'll probably have a, a million listener, a million likers by totally. the end of the day. So uh, that's going to be exciting. Uh, yeah. So build a strong social network. That kind of 
like, uh, it yeah. almost makes sense. Yeah. Wait, it does make sense. So, um, so that's a is that step number one. Step number two is expand your effort building the trust quotient of your website. <laughs> well, that was a good silence. I like that. <laughs> you know, I wasn't sure if you were going to go into it. And, and here's what I liked. And, and what this talks about is, and, and this is something we have, like, we are kind of in the middle of this right now. And it basically says, if you don't, when you engage in social media marketing, you are inviting the entire world to critique your website. It's kind of like going into politics. I exactly. guess that's the point of this. People are going to watch you. They're going to critique everything that you do. I think uh, I would have chosen some other terminology here instead of trust quotient. I, w I think I would have said, you know, just consistency yeah. and and, uh, and and make sure you got something like that you don't mind pushing out there to millions and millions and millions of people. I got a good a good example. So right down the street from here is a, a small little company. You guys may have heard of it, uh, HostGator. Mm -hmm. Literally walking distance from here, we drive by their parking lot every day. It is not us who throw the eggs at the cars. Yeah. <laughs> I don't we, we like them. They're fine. We're just, that was, I thought it would be funny. Apparently. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. Good. Um, and we've, I got on their website, checking it out. They're down the street. They're one of the largest ISPs mm -hmm. uh, or, you know, web hosting uh, providers in the country, in the world, actually. And uh, in the blog, the owner has gone, uh, it has a couple blog entries where he's gone onto the streets of Houston as a bum, uh, you know, panhandling for cash and then reports how much cash he gets for the day. I actually like social, yeah. uh, you know, the so sociology studies like that and things like that. It's very cool. I, if I ever did it, it would not be on the eWeb style webpage. It mm -hmm. wouldn't even be on my Facebook. I might add it to a, a personal, another blog, a personal blog, put it on my wife's blog. Or yeah, something. there you go. <laughs> that way, and you know that I think that's a good example mm -hmm. of really that's not the kind of thing you want associated with your business. So, um, yeah. as soon as you do that, you get people like us ragging on him for doing that. Yeah, on a podcast <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with lots of listeners. You, you also want to make sure that your site, your blog, uh, everything is is um, not efficient, is is not harmful. You know, you want to be careful not. You don't want to spread viruses. You don't, uh, you know, you people get hacked. That happens all the time. I know of a guy that got hacked yesterday, as a matter of fact. We had to help him out. Um, no viruses. No, you don't want to add spammy links. You don't want to add malware on anything. So, uh, again, you want to make sure that when they can go there, it's a trusted site. It looks good and it looks clean. And here's why I say that eWeb style is kind of in the middle of this because we are, have we even said about the site yet? Have we said anything about it? Oh, the, the, the new site that's coming? Yeah. Well, no, we haven't said that. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because, we are like a big part of our social media and uh, I'm just going to say this now. <laughs> we're going to start pushing it because we're going to have a new site coming out. Yep. And a couple people know uh, about the new site. I think Darren and Dean and Scott probably already know about the new site. But, you know, when the new site comes up, you know, everybody knows. You see the little Facebook things and the Twitter things on you go to everybody's website. Our site doesn't have that right now. So when I get the new site up, <clears throat> sure. uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to push that. We're, we're, we're going to start pushing the site. Um, so that's what's up. So we're kind of in the in the middle of this. We want to make sure we're gonna we're gonna put out the Rolls Royce of websites. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow, you guys have been working hard. <laughs> when are you gonna show it to me? <laughs> yeah, that's all on Chuck. I put all the pressure on Chuck. So if you don't like it, email Chuck. Email Chuck. <laughs> Hey, uh, next thing here we got is uh, it's pretty impossible to drive a social media campaign without a blog. And you know, I'm not I'm not convinced about this. Let's say that it's harder. Yeah, I mean, because there's, there's a million ways to bring traffic to it. We did it with our podcast. I'm kind of I don't know. I don't know if we are qualified really to answer this one. You know, if it's the right. Well, I can fake it till I make it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we, we, we got this about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, really, for this one, I really think, you, I mean, we, there's let's, an expert. I let's mean, bring in the social media king. Let's bring in the social media king. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is a good question. Yeah, let's, uh, you guys know him as the SEO rapper, Charles Lewis, also known as Chuck. Uh, he's on Twitter, Facebook. You can find him all over the place. Let's bring him in here. He has a new rap that's out. Social media marketing. That's what's uh, I know he's working hard on the video. He's going to make it one impressive piece yeah. of work. 
uh, one could say the Rolls Royce of oh. SEO rap videos. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it's way up here, like. It is Charles Lewis. All right. Thank That's you for up, stepping in here because we were, we were floundering. Woo! Yeah. Um, I heard you chuckling back there. So. Yeah, y'all are funny. <laughs> I don't know if that was good funny or just, you know, you're funny. I, mean, I look at you and I laugh. <laughs> the other day? No, seriously. Yeah, I'm, I'm always serious. <laughs> like, y'all are funny. When I say funny, I mean stupid. Stupid. <laughs> so here we go. Impossible to drive a social media campaign without a blog. What do you, what do you think of that? Um, I don't I won't say it's impossible. I will say that having a blog definitely helps. I mean, for the sake of letting people post comments and allowing yourself to post articles right mm-hmm. rapidly, a lot faster than you know creating web pages. Yeah, and 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 I and I I kind of agree because some of our clients who you know clearly wouldn't do enough to have a blog. Yeah, I, they can use their Facebook wall yeah. you know as a, as a blog. So and then of course at that point they are doing social media. And as soon as they're doing social media, they're, you know, they, they have some other things they need to follow. They need to build a strong network and have a, you got to find another word for trust quotient. I don't know. Well, you, part of the thing with creating that network is you realize on most blogs, when people comment, usually they're a user mm-hmm. of that blog, right? Right, right. Like I use WordPress. So anybody who comments their picture, their site, all that's attached to their comment. Right, okay. right. So then we get pingbacks and stuff like that. And so, so while it's not mandatory... I think it's. I recommend. I would yeah. recommend it too. <laughs> yeah. And it's just in those situations where, uh, yeah, definitely not mandatory. Where, um, you know, some of our clients they're just not going to hit it enough. They're not going to hit it regularly enough, and uh, and they can do. They already, you know, most of them already know how to do Facebook. Yeah. So you mm-hmm. put them up on a Facebook page, and they can start, you know, doing some entries on Facebook. They'll be all right. So, I do agree with this. Update it regularly with good content. I definitely yeah. agree with that. I'd say, Chuck, you are probably the king of Twitter. Twitter. First of all, because your Twitter handle is Chuck. I think that's, that's, that's the bomb. And yeah. Chuck be Twittering? Tweeting. Yeah. I don't know. Tweeting. Tweeting. Tweet. 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 I'm very uncomfortable <laughs> about that word. Twittering? Uh, <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> Chuck get his tweet on. Chuck get that. his tweet on. And Chuck knows how to... Tweet? Yeah, I tweet. I, I tweet Dick. Shout out Tweet Dick. Appreciate the updates. So, yeah. So, you want to update. Android app. Okay, yeah. So. You want to you wanna update it. And that's something like, okay. Talk over him all Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, and that's something that, like, we were trying to figure out how to do this on our own Facebook page and all people are commenting. Okay, so now we need to start commenting back. And that's, you know, when the new site comes out, we're going to heavily push. All right, we're going to push the new site. We're going to push it on Twitter. We're going to push uh, Facebook to get people to the new site because I mean typically we'll say it in the face we'll say it in the podcast hey go to the site blah 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 do this do this but now that we have the Rolls Royce you know <laughs> Cadillac of websites coming out Rolls Royce Cadillac there you go so we're gonna use this to, to push ever. it there you go we're gonna <laughs> push it and we're gonna be on it are those in the same class? No, one's like yeah. foreign. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> we like Cadillacs. You know? He's trying to appeal to the American crowd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Swang in a caddy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? It's going to be the swagger wagon <laughs> of websites. Of website. That's what's up. <laughs> swagger, swagger wagon of websites. <laughs> it's going to be useful, effective, and the bomb, right? Yeah. How about that? That's good. So be so be social. <laughs> and I can say this. So, so going forward, if you do comment, Comment on our Facebook page. You will receive a shout, shout out. out. Okay. Oh, but uh, a tweet. Um, uh, uh, link love. A reply. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be because because people hit like, us on Facebook and and, and, and we <laughs> escalate. <don't>, yeah. <laughs> You'll get an escalate if you comment on us. <laughs> there you go. So so if you hit us on Facebook, you will get a reply. We will be social. We will yeah. start saying, Kurt Martin, you hit us up the other day. I'm going to hit you up. Very cool. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of interacting with the crowd. I wonder if that's even in this list somewhere. It probably should be. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it, it is. is somewhere. And I'll tell you who, who does a great job of this, and I'm going to shout out to Affagility Solutions. Yeah. They do. I was on their uh, Facebook page the other day, and they're on that sucker. Just bam, bam, bam all the time. They got pictures, and they interacting with people. And I was like, okay, that's what's up. I'm going to steal that, and I'm going to do it better than y'all. Yeah, Ha-ha. like a Cadillac to a <laughs> that's right <laughs> to a Rolls Royce. So, Badly. Agility, Dean, y'all y'all doing a great job. Uh, next on our list is uh, 
Well, the the bolded text says list posts, and I don't really, if you, what I would say is it's about video, and should you be doing video on, uh, if you're doing a social media marketing campaign? Um, yes. How many, here's a good question, how many just regular blog posts have, have you ever seen that have gone viral? Uh, like, I think two? it's twofold. I think what they really intended here in regards to post videos go viral. Yeah, posts don't go by. Exactly, yeah, that's right. what I'm saying. <laughs> but, but but posts get ranked. Yeah, okay, that's okay, true. Okay, so so while if you're linking to your site in this post, or you link into some other online property you have, then then it's good for that post. Right. But for the sake of going viral, you know, add a video to that post. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I, nobody's ever forwarded me a blog post like. And by the way, awesome. we're counting on you guys. We have uh, we have two videos, a cartoon video with him and like a, a butt flap. Yeah. And uh, me and like Speaker Some Princess speaker Lay ears. Layla ears. And we also have another one uh, on exactly <laughs> how we do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta see that. You, we need you guys to make those go viral. So re, re, re tweet them every day. or something. There you go. <laughs> and we're gonna have, we're gonna post a new video. A to get on yeah. <laughs> he had to actually squeeze through the butt flag just to get in the outfit. <laughs> and we're gonna post a new video. <laughs> Put pressure on Chuck. Might be too much information uh, right there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like squeezing through the butt flap? Oh, no. That was cool. <laughs> We're going to drag. Um, and the other video we all have out there is exactly how we do S, uh, SEO, search engine optimization. How do we get a website from, I think in that case, it's like page two to the first position. The first, first page, first position. Permanently. You so go. you got to check out that video. It is on our Facebook page. As soon as you check out that video, we need some comments on it. We need some kickback. Also, Darren Bowie has a very cool uh, video uh, about eWeb style. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. By the way, I figured out, uh, awesome. finally, somebody emailed me the link on how you did that. Um, yeah, I'm still impressed. That, that, yeah, <laughs> that was very cool. I thought it was awesome. And we're going to have a new video coming out, putting pressure on Chuck. There'll be a right. video around the corner. <laughs> around the corner. <laughs> All right. Hey, the, what's the name of the song? Social media marketing. Hey, that's our topic today. That's our topic yeah, today. You should marketing. be on our podcast. Social, oh, social, <laughs> social media marketing. Mm -hmm. Chuck, what's the ETL on the video? Because I actually want to see it. <laughs> ETL on the video is shoot this weekend. Okay. Shoot is this weekend, tomorrow actually. And so give me about a week to edit. That's you know, so. hopefully, maybe next Friday we can, we can debut. Awesome. So video shoot this coming weekend. Champagne, bottles, limousines, all that. And if you want to, if you want to get warmed up, get excited about no. it. The audio, is, <laughs> the, the so audio video shoot. I'm thinking like P Diddy. <laughs> you know. No, I'm thinking more like YouTube, Take Me Ride, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Twitter, Facebook. It's uh, eager, eager. Well, I was thinking like geeks. you know, champagne, a gold plated boat behind you, you know, a jet, <laughs> you know, just live like yeah, video shoot. That's what yeah. I mean. <laughs> 50 cent in the background. Let's get that Bentley, yeah. and the Rolls, and the, the uh, Rolls Royce Cadillac. Cadillac. And the Cadillac. <laughs> the Rolls Cadillac. <laughs> it's a new model there put out go. by Cadillac. Mm -hmm. um, we've got time for just one more thing. This one is, uh, oh, by the way, I just want to mention, if you guys want to get excited about that video that is going to be coming out soon, uh, the audio is available. Uh, the SEO wrapper allowed us to release the audio for that uh, for that rap first here at eWebStyle. Uh, just go to our blog and, by the way, I haven't really? figured out. Yeah, yeah just go to our blog. Audio is actually out there. Nobody tell me. <laughs> I, I just seriously didn't know that. I was like, because he told us about it. I was like, I didn't know we put it up. It is up. It's been up. Okay. Um, actually, we're going to skip this because we, we've got to cover uh, the kind of last little housekeeping details. We love hearing from you guys. We love your reviews. You, you see how excited we get when we get lots of reviews to talk about. You can find us and stalk us a whole slew of ways. Uh, email us at podcast at e-webstyle.com. Uh, find us on Twitter at twitter.com slash e-webstyle. Find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash e-webstyle. Uh, we broadcast this podcast, the video of this podcast, live at 9.15 Central Standard Time uh, every Friday morning. Uh, and you can catch that at you. The best way to get there is to go to eWebStyle.com slash Ustream. That's the letter U. And that will automatically forward you to the Ustream video. Uh, in our new Cadillac website, it will probably be embedded in our website. <laughs> um, the And the last thing is we are on uh, YouTube. So you can find us on YouTube. Just go to eWebStyle.com slash YouTube. We have a phone number. 
Sip, uh, <laughs> s- s- I just threw a blank. Yeah, you, you gotta warn me. Seven one three. Country code zero zero one. Area code seven one three five nine two six seven two four. If you want to talk about web design or um, what internet, we, marketing, internet, internet marketing, internet marketing, engine yeah. optimization, <laughs> pay per click. Yes, give us a call. You can still fill out the free website analysis form. But if you are just in a dire need for it right now today, give us a call. Excellent. Um, this has been podcast number 77. You've been listening to the most popular SEO podcast on iTunes. In fact, we're one of the most popular. I think we may even be, i got to do the numbers, uh, the most popular internet marketing yes. podcast on iTunes. Mm-hmm. We are on the first page of the new um, iTunes uh, uh, package software. Yeah. Uh, so if you go and type in uh, in the iTunes store, internet marketing, boom, we're right there on the first page. And that's because of you. We really appreciate you guys listening, following, tweeting, Facebooking. Um, this has been a great podcast. Uh, internet marketing, unknown secrets of SEO, podcast number 77. My name is Chris Burris. I'm Paul Hansen. I'm Chip. Bye-bye for now.